One of the most common questions people ask us after seeing Avalonia XPF is, does it support third-party controls? This is a great question, and in this video, I'll demonstrate the UI controls from Telerik running on macOS. So let's jump into JetBrains Rider. Here I have the CS Proj, and like in the previous video, this project was created in Visual Studio as a vanilla WPF project. It was then migrated to XPF by updating the project SDK. Because we're demoing with Telerik controls, I've added the package reference to their trial. Now something new that we didn't explore in the last video was this new property, XPF Enable WinForm Shim. The WPF controls from Telerik have a dependency on WinForms. In order to ensure that these run perfectly on macOS and Linux, we need to provide some API shims. Adding this property is the only change we need to make in order to ensure that the Telerik controls will work perfectly with XPF. The rest of the code remains completely unchanged. All of the XAML namespaces remain exactly the same. And naturally, all of the styles are also unchanged. So let's go ahead and run this. And we can see the typical Telerik UI WPF trial pop-up. We'll get rid of that. And this is a sample app that we've created just for our engineers to test UI controls. It's not pretty, but it's functional. Let's take a look at those custom styles. Everything works as you'd expect. We have animations and charts. And pop-ups are also working. We've already great support for a number of Telerik DevExpress controls using XPF. As time goes on, we'll improve the compatibility as we add more API shims to enable broader support. If you've got a WPF app and you're looking to target macOS and Linux, then do get in touch.